If you've ever used Premiere Pro before, you're bound to have seen this warning. Now, this warning comes up when you don't keep your files tidy and organized outside of Premiere Pro. In this video, I'll show you how to first avoid this warning, but if you haven't avoided it, you'll learn how to fix it. What I'm seeing right here is bound to happen to every single editor out there at some point in their lives. This is when your media goes offline. Let me explain what this is and how to fix this problem. Unlike some other applications you may be familiar with, let's say like PowerPoint or Microsoft Word, Premiere Pro relies on having access to the original files all the time. What do I mean by that? Let's say, for example, you have a PowerPoint presentation and you want to have five images inside that presentation. You simply go and import those images into that slide and then that's it. You can delete those images from your computer, but PowerPoint presentation is still going to have those images embedded to it which means that you'll be able to see them all the time. Now, that's not the case with Premiere Pro. Because the video files tend to be quite large, Premiere Pro doesn't actually import anything to the project. What do I mean by that? Let's say you import a video file to Premiere Pro and the file is, say, 200 megabytes. Your project file doesn't grow by 200 megabytes. Let me show you what I mean. Let me just open up my Finder window. And if I go to the project files here, the project file that we have been working on so far is only 3.4 megabytes. But you remember, the files I've imported were almost 3 gigabytes. Now, what's happening here? Every time you bring something into Premiere Pro, you are creating a link from Premiere Pro to the file that sits on your computer or the hard drive. So Premiere Pro relies on having access to those files at all times. If you break that access or the link between your project file and the source files, Premiere is going to give you this warning saying that the media has gone offline. Now, the reason why I'm getting this warning now is because I went to my desktop and I changed the name of this folder where all my files were in from Premiere Pro Masterclass Files to Premiere Pro Masterclass. So I just deleted that last word files from here and Premiere lost the link between the project and these files. Now let's go back to Premiere Pro and see what this warning is telling us. Now it says that the media is missing for these clips. For example, there's a clip called Aerial View 2 and the file name that it was using was also arialview2.mp4. And the last known file path was my desktop, Premiere Pro Masterclass files, and the 3D renders, and so on. But because there is no longer a folder on my desktop called Premiere Pro Masterclass files, there is a folder called Premiere Pro Masterclass, but not one called Masterclass files, it's lost a link. So what can I do? Well, I can come down here and click on Locate. And now it will take me to the last known location. So I'll just go to my Premiere Pro Masterclass this time. Let me just make this a little larger. It will tell me that the last path was this. So it was inside the 3D renders and the Aerial View 2. So I'll just go and double click here. And here's my file, Aerial View 2. So I'll just go and select this and then click OK. And now that's going to link that file. And because this option here, where it says relink others automatically is turned on, it's going to relink every other file as well. So if I now wait for this to finish, once that's done, all the files are going to be connected, but for some reason, this last one isn't connected, so I can go and hit locate, and then go back again to Premiere Masterclass, and music, that file was called once again, so I'm going to go and select that one, and then hit okay, and that gets connected as well, and we're back in business now. Hey, it's me. Are you finding this video helpful? If you are, please subscribe to our channel so you can get more content like this. And I'll give you another reason why that's a good idea at the end of the video. For now, let's continue. Let's say I go and add that word files to the name of the folder again. So let me open that up and then go to my desktop and I'll just go and rename this to be Premiere Pro Masterclass Files. When I switch back to Premiere Pro now, again, it's going to give me a warning saying, hold on a second, I was using some files and they were all inside a folder called Premiere Pro Masterclass. Where are they now? Well, I know where they are now, so I'm going to click on Locate. Go to Premiere Pro Masterclass Files. And then I'm going to go to this file that it's looking for, Aerial View 2. So that's inside 3D Renders. Aerial View 2. Select that and press OK. And that's going to relink all the other files again for me. You'll run into the same problem when you delete a file or you unplug a hard drive that the files are on. Let's say, for example, I'll go and find this file on my hard drive first. So I'm going to go and right click on this file and then come down to where it says reveal in finder. 
that's going to be revealed in Explorer on Windows. And this clip is called Flower Pan. Let's say I just go and delete the file. So I'll select this and then delete. And now when I switch back to Premiere Pro, that will give me a warning, but this time only for that file. Everything else in my timeline is still working fine, but the file has gone missing. Now if I know that the file is missing, obviously now I can't locate it, I can select this option here where it says offline. This is you telling Premiere Pro, I know that this file has gone missing. Don't ask me this again. So I'm going to select offline. Now you can continue working in Premiere Pro, but when you want to see that file, if I go back, that's going to give you that warning again. Now let me go back to my trash and then bring that file back. So I'll just go right click and put it back. Then I'll switch back to Premiere Pro. And now it won't automatically recognize that file. So what I need to do is to right click on this clip and then come down here and I'll choose Link Media. And it's going to take us back to the same place again. And I'll click on Locate. And it's going to take me to the last known location of that file. But now I have quite a few of these files here. It may be quite tricky to find it. Okay. Instead, if I click on this button here, where it says Display Only Exact Name Matches, that's only going to show me that file there. So I can select it and then press OK. Now that file is relinked and it will remember all the in and out points and the effects and anything else like animations, keyframes I may have applied to it. So in summary, if you can avoid relocating or renaming files after you've imported them into Premiere Pro, you should definitely do so. Otherwise, you'll start pulling your hair when your media goes offline. Before you go, if you want to enter our weekly prize draw where you could win a free training course that's fully live and interactive and worth over $1,000, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. That's all you have to do. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.